Hey guys, absolutely perfect pizza dough. Let me show you the fermentation and the bubbles on this pizza dough. Can you see all these bubbles? This has been sitting in the fridge for two days. Let me show you how I make it and let's get started. So you're gonna start with 300 grams of strong flour, bread flour. I'm gonna add some yeast, one teaspoon of yeast, instant yeast, a tablespoon of honey, Mix it in a little bit and then I'm gonna add the water gradually. Room temperature water is good enough. I added 250 milliliters of water, about one cup. I want it to be a very loose dough. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So at this point, I'm gonna add another 50 milliliters of water. I want it to be a very soft dough. I'm gonna use my, my hands and mix it in. It's gonna be very watery. So 300 grams of flour needed, 300 milliliters of water, one teaspoon of instant yeast, and one tablespoon of honey. The dough is looking perfect. I'm gonna cover it, let it rest at room temperature for half an hour, and then in the fridge overnight. 16 hours later, the Polish or the starter is ready and it's looking gorgeous. I'm gonna continue making the dough. I'm gonna add a cup of water, to the polish or to the starter and mix it in. It's a good idea to let it rest for 15 minutes before I add the water. I'm gonna mix it in. You don't have to be delicate. And throughout this recipe, I'm using room temperature water. You don't need to use warm water. I just weighed about 600 grams of bread flour a strong flour. I added salt, mix it in, and I'm gonna add it on top of the polish and the water. I'm gonna start kneading the dough. I'm gonna add another cup of water. That's what the flour needed, but every flour is different. Just watch the consistency of the dough and see how much water you need. I'm gonna need the dough at least 10 minutes and before I start I'm gonna add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil mix it in with the dough and start kneading by hand add a little bit of flour if you feel the dough is very sticky but really the dough should be a little sticky at the end of the day you don't want it to be too tough All you need is two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna fold it in, knead the dough, like I said, 10 or 15 minutes. You really can't mess this dough if you follow all these tips and tricks. You know the dough is ready when it starts to bounce back when you push on it. And as always, look in the description box below for the ingredients and the exact amounts. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my recipes. And follow me on social media. The links are going to be in the description box below. I'm happy with the dough right now. I'm going to brush a big bowl with some olive oil. Add the dough. Cover it with plastic wrap and let it rest overnight one more time.
the wait is over and now it's the moment of truth the dough looks gorgeous it's well fermented and i can tell it's gonna be great pizza i took the dough out of the fridge i'm gonna let it rest on the countertop for one hour before i work on it it's looking good we're gonna shape balls out of this dough and we'll go from there let's get our hands dirty i want to be gentle i don't want to deflate all these beautiful bubbles divide gently into six portions Try not to mess with it too much, also. Shape just like so, try to make the perfect circle, tuck it in, shape another one. I'm gonna shape another one, a little bit of flour, and this is what you want to do. So I'm gonna let it rest for half an hour and then I'm gonna start shaping. Meanwhile, I'm gonna work on the toppings, any topping you want really. And I keep the corn flour close or maybe semolina if you don't have corn flour. There you go. Look at this dough, it is beautiful. Cover the rest of the dough with plastic wrap, you don't want it to dry out. So the toppings is up to you. I've prepped some toppings, olives, mushrooms, pepperoni, onions. That's my favorite, but you can do whatever you like, including Italian sausage. It's really great with this. I'm using fontina cheese or mozzarella or fresh mozzarella. It's totally up to you. I'm going to mix it up. And I'm gonna wait for the dough just a little bit more and I'll be coming. If you're looking for the perfect pizza dough, patience is key. You have to let it rest every time you work on it. And the way I'm gonna be cooking the dough is in a cast iron. I'm gonna place it in the oven. I want it to become very, very hot. I cranked up the heat to 550 degrees Fahrenheit, the highest temperature in my oven. I'm shredding some fontina cheese. I'm just waiting for the dough really. And just be very careful handling the cast iron pan. So let's start on the first dough. Just gonna start to just stretch it. You can use your hand. Look at this dough, so beautiful and full of bubbles. I try to be very gentle. Stretching. It looks like a great pizza and the way I'm gonna bake it, it's gonna make it taste as close as possible to an Italian style pizza. I'm gonna add some corn flour just like so. Add the dough. I'm gonna work quickly at this point. The pan is super hot, so be very, very careful. This is the first one. I'm gonna add any topping I want. Some pizza sauce. And I don't add too much. Some cheese.
on it, place it in the oven. Let me work on another one. I'm gonna start stretching. The dough is very, very soft. I'm gonna use some flour for my hands. First one out of the oven. And look at that beautiful crust, beautiful dough, very, very successful. You can clean the corn flour between every time you bake. You don't want it to smoke too much. This is super hot, but I'm gonna cut into it to show you the inside. Look at this dough, amazing. Can you see this dough? I'm really, really happy how this came out. Here's another one with fontina, olives, onions, and mushroom, my favorite combination. And here's the third Neapolitan one, or what you call margarita pizza, with fresh tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, and some basil. Well, this turned out to be amazing. I hope you give it a try soon. And until next time, bon appétit!